my god, oh my god. Hey guys. Hey. How you doing? Hope you're well. My name's Liam. And I'm Steph. And today we are checking out another movie. This was our second most requested movie on a poll that we did recently on Patreon. Alien. Uh, we know it's a cult classic. There's actually another film out of it in the cinemas right now, I believe, or it's coming out in like a week or so. Um, so hopefully if we like this, we're definitely keen to check that out. Although we might wait until it kind of comes out so we can check it out with you guys. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's a weird one, Alien, because I've heard so much about Alien. It's a classic. I know Sigourney Weaver's character is like the hero. Um, I think she's called Riley or Ripley. Uh, I think it's Ripley, actually. Um, obviously, I've seen the Alien itself. It's just a film I've never watched, so excited to check it out. Uh, and know it's an older film as well, obviously, so I don't know how that's going to play into it because obviously people who love this film probably saw it when it came out, but hopefully it stands the test of time. I'm sure it does. But yeah, we're going to check it out. If you guys want to watch the full film with us, you can always do that over on our Patreon. But with that being said, guys, let's jump straight in and we'll see you on the other side. Ooh, John Hurt, okay. Why do I know that name? Oh, uh, Ollivander from um, Harry Potter. And Ian Holm as well, who I think, I'm pretty sure, is um, Bilbo Baggins oh. from Lord of the Rings. The Nostromo. Oh, it's returning to Earth. Mm. Seven crew, that's not a lot, is it, really? No, because it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. That's what she said! <laughs> It's quite a creepy ship, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're all in there like asleep. Yeah. How long have they been asleep, though? I couldn't sleep like that, could you? Without hands like that. No, I think it's like something like knocks them out. Yeah. Like more recent films, they have it where it's like, I know uh, Interstellar, for instance, it like fills with water. Couldn't, I couldn't do that. No. Which seat are you getting biscuits on here? I'll come to this one. Cornbread. Still? Yeah. I am cold. Still with us, Brett. Clay. Yeah. Oh, I feel yes. dead. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Can I finish my coffee? Mm. It's only been good on this ship. <laughs> You'd have to really get on, wouldn't you, if you were going to be yeah. just a small crew for so long together. Right? Okay. Plug us in. Where is Earth? You should know. It's not our system. What the hell are we doing out here? Me over. Hmm. What the hell are you talking about? That's not our system. Has their ship gone off course while they've been asleep? Uh, I'm trying to be in my seat. You know? Just thought it. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. We're only halfway there. What? Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. Seems she has intercepted a transmission of unknown origin she got us up to check it out a transmission what kind of a transmission acoustical beacon it uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds sos i don't know human unknown oh. it's not my contract to do this kind of duty there is a clause in the contract which specifically states any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I don't want to hear it. It's a funny one, isn't it? Because if you were them, you'd be like, oh, I just want to get home. Well, but yeah. if you were the ship that's sending out the SOS, you'd be begging for someone to just arrive and come mm -hmm. and help. All right, initial damping's going off. Hold on, people. There's going to be a little bump. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a dinosaur, didn't it? <laughs> Might be a completely different <laughs> film to the one we're expecting. Kill drive engines. Oh. Wow. 
why did that damage the ship? Look, we couldn't fix it out here anyway. We got to rewrite all these ducks, and uh, in order to do that, we've got to drive dock. What, what is what? This is 17 hours, fella. At least 25 hours. He's a great actor, him. It's very like neutral, isn't it? Mm. Any response yet? No, absolutely nothing. Except the same transmission every 12 seconds. Oh, I hope they've not come down here for nothing. I'll volunteer to be in the first group to go out. Yeah, that figures. You too, Lambert. Well. Better break out the weapons. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hey, so you receive me? <laughs> Good contact on my board. Let's go. I'm nervous for them, mate. Yeah. I'm fucking nervous. I don't think this is going to go too well. I'm interested to see who sent the SOS because somebody activated it, didn't they? Look, I'm not going to do any more work. We get this straightened out. Brett, you're guaranteed by law to get a share. What? Why don't you just f off? <laughs> what? If you have any trouble, I'll be on the bridge. Yeah, them two are all about the money, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they're worried about. They took a cat. Oh. The cat must have been in cryo then as well, surely. Always nervous. I know, yeah. Something's gonna happen. Right? It's, it's got to happen. It's always the first group that get it. I've got to say, so far, the setting is very atmospheric, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It feels very isolated. What is that? What is that? Is that like a dead alien? I know. It looks massive. Yeah, it is. It's been dead a long time. Yeah, alien life form, that's what you said. Looks like it's grown out of the chair. Oh, oh my god. Bones have been out with. Like he exploded from inside. Oh. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> She's the only sane one. Yeah, she is. I mean, just seeing an alien alone, is this like the first time anyone's seen an alien before? Ash. That transmission. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. Well, what is it then? Well, I, it looks like a warning. I'm going to go out after them. What's the point? Oh, my God. I mean, by the, the time God. it takes to get there, you'll they'll know if it's a warning or not, yes? I mean, oh, try no. and contact them. That's a little bit different, an SOS and a warning, isn't it? down there. I suppose they still think that they're looking for people People, to yeah, they, they don't have a clue. Okay down there. Although I've got to be honest, you now know that it's an alien ship. Like, yeah. I'd definitely be sceptical. This is completely enclosed and it's full of leathery objects like eggs or something. Oh no, eggs, I'd be gone. Oh, don't touch anything. There's a, a layer of mist just covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Oh, no, get out. I think we've got our first casualty here. Oh, oh I thought that's something came out then. Is that something moving yeah, inside? Something's moving inside the egg. Oh, nah. 
No, 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 no. No, I'd be gone. Don't worry about this opens. Whoa! What the hell was that? I think I've seen them on posters, actually. It's like a like a spider thing. I mean, at least he's got that big suit on. So like... Yeah, he needs to get out now. Two of them have come back. I was going to say, if they left him. Clean, let us in. What happened to Kane? Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. Oh. Uh, Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You know the quarantine procedure. 24 hours for decontamination. He could die in 24 hours. Open the hatch. Listen to me. If we break quarantine, we could all die. Ripley, this is in order. Open that hatch right now. Do you hear me? Yes. Ripley, this is in order. Do you hear me? Yes. I read you. The answer is negative. Nice. In a hatch open. Oh, he's opened it anyway. Oh, we got any suit? My God. <gasps> oh. Oh my God! What the hell is that? Are we gonna get this? Well, I don't like that. How's he still breathing? I don't know. He's like, everywhere. Yeah, because he's still alive. Oh, my God, it's tightening around his neck. I know. He's not coming off without tearing his face off with it. We'll have to take a look at him inside. Is he still conscious, then, do you reckon? Is he aware of like what's going on around him? What's it got down his throat? I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. Paralyzes him, puts him in a coma. And keeps him alive. Now, what the hell is that? Why? Oh, we gotta get it off him. Just a minute, just a minute. I mean, let's not be too hasty. Now, we're assuming it's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it, could kill him. He's a bit fishy, him, I think. Like, he's very hesitant to take it off. He opened the bloody door. It's going through the whole ship. Oh my god. There it is. Dad, be careful standing underneath it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, don't get under it. God, it'll burn your face off. Uh, how are you going to stop it though? I mean, it's burning through metal. <laughs> Looks like it's stopping. Take a look at this, man. Don't get any on your arm. Jesus. It stopped. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. You don't dare kill it. Oh no, yeah, because it's full of acid, so... But see how many eggs he saw, and it's full of them things. They need to get off this planet. Yeah, got to. I don't trust this guy. Do you remember when it was like, when Sigourney Weaver was saying about an SOS or a warning. warning. He was like, oh no, leave it. Don't, don't they'll be fine, don't worry about it. They yeah. know by now. I was like, what? He wants to discover something, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. How's, uh, how's Kane? He's holding, no changes. And, uh, our guest? Hmm. Well, it's an interesting combination of elements making him a tough little son of a bitch. <laughs> And you let him in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When Dallas and Kane are off the ship, I'm senior officer. Yeah. Look, what would you have done with Kane? Hmm? You know, his only chance of survival was to get him in here. Unfortunately, by uh, breaking quarantine, you risk everybody's life. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty big risk for a science officer. It's uh, not exactly out of the manual, is it? Yeah, I'd be very, 
very sus about him. Yeah. I think you should have a look at Kane. Or something's happened. Oh no. Ripley, meet me in the infirmary right away. Where is it? Well, I don't know. It's not done anything to his face then. They've lost it though. It's gone. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, not after seeing what it's done no. to him. There's no way I'd be going in there. I just hope it do not jump on someone... Sorry. <laughs> someone else's face. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. You okay? That's fine. That's a reflex action. Come on, we've got to have a look at this. Oh, that is horrendous, isn't it, that? He's dead enough. Well, good. Let's get rid of it. This is the first time that we've encountered a species like this. It has to go back. All sorts of tests have to be made. Ash, are you kidding? This thing bled acid. Who knows what it's going to do when yeah, it's dead? Yeah, yeah. Dumbass, it has to go back. Well, I'd soon... There's not, but I didn't make a mistake, but you're the science officer, it's your decision, Ash. Tell us. God, is no one listening to her? I know. Will you listen to... Just tell me how you can leave that kind of decision to him. Look, I just run the ship. Did you ever ship out with Ash before? I went out five times with another science officer. They replaced him two days before we left Thetis with Ash. Hmm? I don't trust him. No, I don't. Neither do I. Okay, so they're away from the planet at least. Yeah. I'd want to chuck that thing off the I ship. I know, yeah, it's not worth the risk, is it? No. What I think we should do is just freeze him. I mean, he's got a disease, why don't we stop it where it is? Yeah. We can always get to a doctor when we get back home. Mm -hmm. Right. Whenever he says anything, you say, right, Brett, you know that? Right. <laughs> Well, according to my calculations, based on the time spent getting to and from the planet... Just give me the short version. How far to Earth? Ten minutes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think you should come and see Cain. Has his condition changed? It's simpler if you just come and see him. We're on our way. Oh, no. What state's he going to be in now? <laughs> oh. Oh, he's awake. Oh, thanks, man. How you doing? Silly question. You remember some horrible dream about smothering him? He doesn't remember what happened. Oh, are they all just forgetting about what's happened here? Like, this alien's attached itself to its face, let go seemingly dead, and everyone's just like, oh yeah, he's fine. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh. Sorry. The food ain't that bad, baby. Oh my god. Oh! He's got something in him. He's got something inside his belly. Ah! That's what that thing was doing. It was it was putting this inside his mouth. Oh my god, that was horrific. <laughs> oh god, that was horrible. And now they're on the big space station, so this little thing can be anywhere. I just have to find it. I've taken care of that. I've designed this tracking device. You just set it to search for a moving object. So, it hasn't got much of a range, but when you get within a certain distance, it'll start to give off a signal. See? Again. Gotcha. So they're still trying to catch it. They don't want to just kill it. Now, anyone see this thing, you catch it in the net that Parker is holding on his lap. Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you. Catch it, put it in the airlock. Now, the channels are open on all decks. I want you to communicate, keep in touch at all times, all right? They're all very calm considering that's just happened. I know, yeah. <laughs> what? 
He's going off in it. Yeah. I wondered where the cat had gone, to be honest. Had ya? I didn't even, I couldn't even remember about the cat. Alright, you get him, we'll go on. Stick together, always stick together at this point. But he hasn't got any device, so, what, so he, he can nothing? sense, no. Has he got a weapon? No, he's got nothing, I'm surprised they've let him just go off on his own. Oh, it is the cat. <laughs> Oh, it shed its skin. So it's getting bigger then. Do you think? Yeah. I think it's going to turn into the uh, the classic look, you know, the big black alien. I wonder what some of these rooms are for on these <laughs> ships. Like... No, I just abort mission. I love cats, I love dogs, but I just have to, I just couldn't. I'd be freaking out. God, it uses the dark space as well, doesn't it? I know, I thought it'd be behind him or something, do you know what I mean? Come on, baby. Oh, it's full formed. Oh, it's humongous. It was only like that when it came out of the man, and now it's massive. It didn't take long to get full form then, did it? It's using the end house to move around. Did they see it? Could he want Brett alive? What? Could Brett be alive? No. All right, there's only one big opening along the way. We can cover that up and then we drive it into the airlock and zap it into outer space. This son of a bitch is huge. Yeah. Who gets to go into the vent? No. You and Ash take the main airlock. Parker Lambert, you cover up that maintenance opening, please. So he's going into the vent then? Oh, that's not a good idea though, is it? Hell no. All right, I've got a reading on you now. <sighs> oh yeah, he has got like a little flamethrower. Uh, At least we've got something now though. I worry about him though. Open the hatch to the third junction. That would be terrifying, wouldn't you? You wouldn't know if it was on the other side or I not. I know, I know. What will it have done to that maintenance guy, the engineer? Probably eating him, maybe. Do you think? Oh, probably, I mean, maybe that's what humans are to it, like a food source. All right, I race. Third junction, I'm going down. Dallas, you're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I... I've lost the signal. What? You sure? Look, look around. Are you sure that it's not there? I mean, it's got to be around there somewhere. <sighs> Don't be touching things like it's acid got acid like. Dallas, are you sure there is no sign of it? I mean, it is there. It's got to be around there. Dallas? Oh no. <sighs> am, I, am I Claire Lambert? I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, go. Get out. Oh my god, it's, oh god, it's moving right towards you. Move, get out of there. Oh get my out. god. Get out. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Dallas? <laughs> Shut me up. Oh my god. We found this lane there. No blood. No Dallas. Oh my god. No blood, so what is it doing then? 
Unless somebody has got a better idea. We'll proceed with Dallas's plan. What? Well, let's talk about killing it. We know it's using the air shafts. Will you listen to me, Parker? For once. Shut up! Yeah. We'll move in pairs. We'll go step by step and cut off every bulkhead and every vent until we have it cornered and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. Is that acceptable to you? But is a scientist going to want it killed? Ash? Any suggestions from you or mother? What would you like me to do? Just what you've been doing, Ash. Nothing. Yeah. I've got access to mother now and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. Yeah, call him out on his bullshit. Yeah. She's terrified her, isn't she? But that's exactly how you would Yeah, be. I know I would be <laughs> myself. Science officer eyes only. Oh, crew expendable. There is an explanation for this, you know. The room. I want to pay your kind of explanation. Scumbag. So it's all been his doing then. He rerouted them. Oh, he's locking her in. Ash, open the door. What's wrong with this dude? Ash. He's creepy, man, isn't he? He's awful. What, what's going on with his head? What's going on with him? Why is he like sweating white? Look at him, he's not right, is he? Oh my god, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, he is quite strong. He ain't right. What the f is going on? <gasps> oh, is he an alien? No. It's a robot. Ash is a goddamn robot. Oh, he's a robot. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that is horrible. He's still going. Oh my god, like you need to like shoot, it'll do something to stop it, like. So he was put on this ship for the sole purpose of bringing this species back. Yeah. All I can think of is they must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. It's been protecting it right along. Ash, can you hear me? Ash! Oh my god. Oh my god. A way of killing it. How? How do we do it? Bullshit. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. Its structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. I can't lie to you about your chances. You have my sympathies. He's an asshole. We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Well, yeah, because there's three of them now. Yeah. That's creepier than the alien, that. Yeah, that's oh my so creepy. god, that's horrible. You two go down, get all the coolant you can carry. I'll get the shuttle ready. Stop splitting up, please. I know. I don't want any more people to die like these three. And no, uh, they're good. I mean, I, I liked them all. They were a really good yeah. group of people, apart from that Ash. Yeah. Come on, guys, get what you need to get and get out of here. Oh, 
You don't want to make any noise, would you? No. I'd have that machine on all the time as well. You know, that tells you where the alien is. Yeah. Jones? Jones? Is it the cat, though? Well, yeah, that's the question. Because that alien could be, like, birthing out more of the little things or anything, do you know what I mean? I don't know what it can do, but... Yeah, I wonder if it can do that. Um, like, where does the origin of that uh, spider-like thing come from? Does Can it birth more spiders? I don't know. Oh, it's the cat. Jones! God damn it! She's making so much noise. <laughs> What's it still on films like this? Oh, is that the thing? What? I can see nothing. The shadow, I thought it was him, but it's not, it's the alien. Oh, that is terrifying. Get out of the way, Lance! They're both dead, aren't they? <laughs> oh my god. Imagine having to listen to them die on the audio. Oh, I don't. Oh. oh, that poor girl is like hanging. Oh, she's going to self-destruct the ship. You'd have to. There's no yeah. way that can make its uh, way back to Earth. And that's no. the way the ship's going, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the cat, in it? <laughs> freaking out for her. Yeah, the paranoia would be real. Then. The option to override automatic detonation expires in T minus three minutes. Is that it there? Well, she's got the flamethrower. She's left the cat. I mean, I suppose you would in this situation, I mean. Yeah. Oh my god, he can see the cat in the box. Oh, she's having to stop it, there's 20 seconds left. Oh, it's not stopped. So now she's got five minutes to get the cat, get past the alien, get on the shuttle and leave before the actual main ship blows up. Oh, the stress. What if it's in there with her? God, one minute. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 3, 2, 1. I don't feel out of the woods, though. I don't feel out of the woods. I don't feel like that's it done with.
Did she? It's not in there. I don't know. I love she saved the cat. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why the alien didn't like try and do anything with the cat, like yeah. eat it or anything. So the cat's safe, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be on here. It's got to be because... Really? Well, otherwise it would be dead and everything would be fine, you know. Yeah. Credits would be rolling. But it still feels uneasy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it! That's its head! What's it doing? Oh, I dread to think. Ooh. It's slimy, it's isn't it? It's creepy, isn't it? What the hell is she going to do? Tonight. Oh, she's putting on a space suit. Oh. Yeah, what is that? Is that like it's it's mouth? It's yeah, like... is that like a tongue thing that was like shooting out, wasn't it? So she's prepared to go outside, it seems. Yeah. Or is there a door that she can open the ship to suck the alien out? Do you reckon? You're, that's probably the best case scenario of what she's gonna do, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder why it's not attacking like, I'm confused on what it's doing. Do you reckon it's smart enough to know that it's going to Earth? And it's just kind of laying low? it off she's kind of put herself in a bit of a worse position here yeah oh yeah she has nice nice Oh, it's coming back in. Nice. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Oh, six With weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Come on, cat. At least she's still got the car. So she's going to go back to sleep for six weeks and then get picked up by another ship is kind of what she was saying. Yeah, hopefully she gets saved. I've got to say, I thought the whole film, I, I, the film as a whole, I really enjoyed. Yeah. I, I thought it was great. Very atmospheric at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked how creepy, you know, the build-up, you know. Yeah. Well before they got to, like, the eggs and stuff. I know. The whole ship, when they got into that alien ship, the dimensions of how big that ship actually was compared to how they were was crazy. Yeah. But I really liked the core the core group as well. Oh, like I did. The yeah. actual crew. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah... <clears throat> I, they really used the alien well. 
Um, especially for the time that it was made, obviously, because towards the end, you could kind of tell it was a man in a suit. Yeah. But the earlier times when you saw the alien... I thought they did that really well for the time that it came out, you know, showing it little bits. Mm -hmm. um, it actually shut me up when, um, you know, when the captain was like coming down um, the know, stairs I know. Yeah, and yeah, the alien yeah. was like underneath like where the ladder was. That was great. The suspense in the film was, was absolutely amazing. Thoroughly yeah, enjoyed that. You were on the edge of your seat a lot of the times. The tension was really good. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, it was really good. Really mm -hmm. enjoyed that. Yeah. I understand why it's a bit of a cult classic because, I mean, I can't imagine what it was like watching that when it came out. Um, like I said, it's a little bit dated, but take nothing away from it. You you can see the quality is there, you know? Yeah. It was a really good film. Really enjoyed it. The atmosphere, you know, it wasn't all action, 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 which I kind of didn't know what to expect, but I kind of thought it might have been that, especially to the latter end of the film. Mm hmm but I actually liked what they did, where yeah. it was more atmospheric. Yeah, suspenseful. Yeah, you yeah. didn't know where the creature was. <clears throat> there was one scene that particular that stands out to me, um, referencing all this, was, do you know when the guy had like the drips of water going on his face? Yeah. And it like, it showed you a tiny little bit of the darkness behind him on the left hand side. And it just made you sit there for a minute and I thought, is it gonna come out? Yeah. Is it there? Mm -hmm. And you as the audience, you just keep guessing like what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden just turns around and everything's fine, carries on walking. Yeah. I yeah, love yeah, stuff yeah. like that yeah. because you're always expecting a jump scare. So when you kind of don't get it, it kind of makes you go, okay, I don't know what to expect in the next, next time now, yeah. you know? So yeah, really, honestly, thoroughly enjoyed that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. I don't know, um, with the new one, you guys will have to help us out here. I don't know the placement of the new film that's coming out. Okay. Is it a sequel to this? Is it a sequel to the next one? Because um, I know they did Aliens. And then I think there's an Alien 3. I think that might be... I know they did the Alien v Predator films. Apparently they're not too good. Um, but yeah, I don't know where the placement is of the new one. Um but I'm definitely going to hold out on the new one because I'd love to watch that with you guys. Yeah. Um, that would be great. Yeah, we'll have to definitely do that on the channel because I, I th did thoroughly enjoy that. And it'd be interesting to see the dynamics of like a film shot in like, what was it, 1979? Yeah, 45 years ago. Yeah, to a film, fil to, to, sorry, to a film that shot 45 years later. Kind of what they do, whether mm -hmm. things they do similar or different. Yeah. But yeah, overall, guys, really enjoyed it. Thanks for being with us as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the film as well. Let us know what you thought of it down below in the comments and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.